This video is sponsored by the Yahoo Mail app. It was a normal day as we browsed our long list of ideas, all contained only in this one single document with no backups. Suddenly, as couples do, we both felt a strong, sudden urge to poop at the exact same time. That's when disaster struck. Why do we even have that button? I don't know. So, we're out of video ideas. But luckily, because you guys always send us such good ideas, we thought we'd ask you what we should make this week. Oh, we got one, we got one. This might get demonetized. You probably won't do this, but it would be cool if you did. Can you make resin underwater? Underwear. Oh, underwear. Please don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> Love your videos. Maybe we should wait for some more ideas to come in. Or... My brain is no longer able to separate what's a good idea from a bad idea. It all just starts like looking the same. I'm like, maybe it is a good idea to make resin gloves. That, yeah, yeah. maybe that is a good idea. We should idea. just pour resin on everything. Yeah. Or just like make a resin baby. The idea was cast a resin baby, specifically yeah. cast a baby in resin. And we would never do that. We don't have access to a baby. I think the first one we should start with is this. We actually got two emails about this idea. Cover chicken nuggets in resin and make jewelry out of them. So like chicken nugget earrings or necklace. So it was time to order supplies. We already had some earring bases and of course resin, but we needed some chicken nugget sized pendant necklace bases and also some glitter because like we might want to make them a little fancy. Today's sponsor, the Yahoo Mail app, will help us stay organized with our purchases and projects since it's designed to help organize your inbox and free up your brain to think of more productive things. For example, they automatically detect which emails are receipts and put them all in one tab so you can keep track of what purchases you've made or your husband has made. And if those purchases are in transit, you can see all of your active tracking info with their top of inbox package tracking, which pops up automatic alerts that don't get buried in your inbox. Both very important features when you're buying very important supplies to do very important projects. You can actually connect all of your email accounts to that, not just Yahoo ones, to take advantage of the full suite of features available to make organizing your life easier. The Yahoo Mail app is free to download, so check it out yourself and download it by clicking our link below. All the supplies are in, I'm so excited. And we've had some time to brainstorm how we're exactly gonna make the chicken nugget jewelry. We're gonna repurpose a little resin rotisserie we use to make our resin tumbler. And we're gonna rotisserie some chicken. We've only rotisseried a tumbler, never a nugget, which yeah. is kind of an odd shape. And also we need to do like a quality inspection of these too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for the very first resin time. Resin time, resin time. Are we not gonna test the chickens on here rotating before we do the resin? I feel like we should test that first. So this is what the blank earring looks like with nothing on it. I made an adapter for this post right here using a 3D printed little part and some tape to adapt it to fit into these rotisseries. Make sure it's centered. I think like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. Looks like we're at a barbecue. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it's resin time. Resin time, resin time. Do, 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 resin time. I would like these to be fancy chicken nugget earrings. So we have this super fine glitter that I'm gonna try mixing into the resin. Hopefully it shows up. If it doesn't, we have more glitter. Don't worry. Beautiful. I'm not sure how much this fine glitter is showing up. I think we might need to mix in a little bit of extra glitter. This is it. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the glitz and glam that we were wanting. And I think we just need to like let these cure and yep. then we'll come back and maybe poke them and see if they need a second coat or not. Yeah, all right. Oh no, you guys, there's been an error. Hey, Caitlin. 
Yeah. It's still spinning. Uh, like a string of resin connected and stopped the spinning. I know. Yeah, like the string connected. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, yeah, just try to break it. Yeah. What if we use UV resin to... Oh, like a little drop there at the end? Like a little drop just to hold it. Because right now the stick is rotating inside the chicken nugget, within the nugget. Yeah. Just like a single drop. All right, all right, all right. Cure it. Cure, cure, cure. Moment of truth. Spin. <gasps> Will it hold? Keep spinning. Keep Oh, spin. shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's twisting. Oh, it's twisting. Oh, wow. Jeez. Needs to like attach to the post. Yeah. Come on, come on. Hold, Hold. the spin. Hold. It's working. Alrighty, it's been four hours. Mm -hmm. I think that we can move these aside carefully. I don't want to leave any fingerprints. It's still not fully cured, but we want to make room for the next chicken jewelry <laughs> that we're doing. We're going to do a pendant, and we thought that it would be fun to try a different style of chicken nugget. So we have these. I have an idea. Oh yeah. I think that'll be a lot more secure. Look at, look at that, that's beautiful. Oh, it's so glorious. Wow, they look great. They really do. There you go. All right, that's the last of the resin. Um, we were about to do coat two, but look at this nugget. It's like dancing. I worry it's gonna like fall off. Watch this. Uh, I do too. Thunk. Thunk. I know. And but I feel like it's moved. That one is too, actually. This way a lot. It's a lot closer to the aluminum foil. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give it a little shove. Uh, hey. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, second coat done. Just need to let these guys cook and then we can turn them into jewelry. So it is 11.26 at night. Hello. <laughs> and uh, I think the chicken nugget gave up. We've been checking on it like every 15 minutes and it's been, I don't know, a couple hours now. And it's so sad. It's not rotating anymore. Oh, it almost fell out. It almost fell out. Okay, we the should. The repeated trauma that this poor chicken nugget has gone through. Oh my gosh. All right, here, let's, Anyways, we might let's need to transfer out. these. Yeah. Oh, geez, yeah, it's a little sticky. It's, 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 a, little, it's a little resin residue. Oh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little sticky. Do you want a glove? Yeah. All right, I think that'll do. They survived. <laughs> I have wow. to say, you look absolutely appetizing. My ears are in pain. <laughs> These are very heavy. I think the chain, the necklace. The necklace, I kind of like. It is kind of a vibe. <laughs> the earrings are very heavy. I would give this project a six out of 10. It was a great idea, but I don't think it went far enough. We could have hung a burger from here. The next idea comes from so many of you. Needle felting with Jube's hair. Luckily, I've been collecting a little bag of her hair for years now <laughs> for, very, for s such an occasion. Now, we didn't want this to be our very first experience needle felting because we're gonna adding in such a weird unknown variable. So we actually did a whole video learning how to needle felt that will be out on our second channel next week. So make sure you subscribe to there. I'm really curious to see how this integrates. Yeah, I don't even know if like cat hair will felt in the same way, like, like wool will. Oh my God. Oh, it's way more brown than I thought. Oh, That's interesting. That's you know, so You weird. think of her as a black cat, but here is some black wool. Here's Jube's fur. That's so weird, Jube. Well, you're not a black cat. She's here. not, she's a gray cat. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so weird. It kind of it kind of works. It kind of is sticking like, to itself already. Somewhat like felt. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna see if I can make like a little leg, just like a little foot nub. Will you stick to yourself and get it to go into a ball? It's kind of balling up. There's so many like stray little hairs. Little Yeah. I am able to shape it a bit. Oh my God. It's, it's really hairy. <laughs> like there's so many stray hairs that aren't being contained. Oh man, I'm just remembering all the times we've stabbed ourselves already. Yeah, so let's compare cat hair versus wool. I don't know. The cat hair is the working. The cat hair is working. All right, let's just make it entirely out of cat hair. We wasted money on all this wool. <laughs> I guess we really haven't said what we're going for. We're gonna try to make a small cat cat toy out of Jube's fur. <laughs> <laughs> now, because it is already in kind of like, <laughs> like little turds. sausage shapes, I want them to like merge, you know? Yeah. So I almost wonder if I should get one and like thin it out and like use it to wrap the rest. Oh yeah. Who's calling me? We're doing important things. Actually, I, I need to answer this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell them we're doing important things though. Hello? And uh, I hope you know that you uh, you called while we were doing very important business things. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. <clears throat> this is important business things. This is our business. <laughs> this is our business, literally. This is our job. Look, look how my little lump is coming together. Oh my gosh. It looks dense too. It's dense. We have a body and four little legs. <laughs> Those will be legs. It's working so well. I know. I'm so pleased. How about I start working on a tail? And I will do some ears. Hey! <laughs> you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's coming together. Okay. It's becoming cat-like. Okay, I'm gonna pin these little legs on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, the legs are looking pretty good. It's so cute. Oh, oh it's little nubs. Looks like half cat, half rabbit. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's gonna change because yeah. we're about to add her tail. It is one of her signature features after all. Oh, that's looking so much more cat-like. Sorry for poking in your butt, <laughs> Juby. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> there she is! She's done! Look at her little face. I can't wait to see what Juby thinks of this. Time to see if Juby likes her little creation. Oh, it's Leafy Bear. Oh my gosh, right to it. What is this? Little Doob, Big Doob. We made that. From you. You provided the materials. <laughs> she likes it. Tastes like ham. Yeah, we made that for you. Oh my gosh, she's it's trying to groom friend. it. It's new friend. She's trying to groom it. <laughs> now, do you want to play with it or is it just like a cute thing to look at? Must investigate further. Oh my gosh, she's like really going to town. <laughs> the bad it fit. Aww. Aww. Aww, Juby loves. Juby loves. So it definitely has supervisor approval. I think this might be a nine out of 10. It might be a nine out of 10. This is a really good one, honestly. Like, I don't think this is weird at all. I only have positive things to say, and so does Juby. Good job, guys. One reoccurring theme that appeared again and again and across so many of y'all's ideas was to cover things in velvet. And one particularly cursed one comes from Carter who says, you can make a velvet toothbrush. Well, we have a toothbrush. We have all of our flocking supplies to make it velvet. And we just got a top of inbox notification that our teeth came in. Now, why do we need the teeth, you might ask. It's to demonstrate, okay? <laughs> to demonstrate specifically why this is such a bad idea. <laughs> but first, before we get to the, the test, we need to cover this toothbrush in velvet. 
So we're gonna tape off the bristles because we're not crazy people. I was initially very concerned that we were just gonna like flock and velvet the entire toothbrush, including the bristles. And I just like had so many logistical concerns about like, if you haven't watched one of our videos where we turn something velvet before, you have to cover the item first with this goopy glue that's the same color as your flocking powder. And you have to do it all in one go. You can't just do like a section and then flock it and then another section and then flock it. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Oh yeah, it's my turn. Is there anything in this one? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's fluffy. Oh my god! Oh, the fluff's right like up against the tape. I can just imagine the bristles there. Oh my god. Okay, check, check, check. Maybe a little bit there. Some days you just wake up and you say, I'm gonna flock a toothbrush. It's looking good, looking good, looking good. It's so fuzzy. All right, I think that's it. We need to let the glue fully cure, and then we can take the tape off and test it. All right, everybody. Let's look at how the velvet toothbrush Looks now. <laughs> it looks the same, but it should in theory be fully attached now, like the velvet. Oh my God, do not scratch it though. There's there's already stuff falling out from just like us taking it out here. Yeah, but that's normal. That's, that's normal. normal. That's just like the loose stuff tapping off. Oh God, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> but that's normal. That's supposed to happen. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna touch it then. Whoa. Is it soft? Is it luxurious? Oh. It's wrong now that I hold it. Knowing that it's like a toothbrush, like the knowledge of what this is makes the texture disturbing and not, not luxurious. It's so fuzzy. So fuzzy. It did work. It, it did totally... work. It is on there. It is applied. Should we remove the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, go for it. See how well we protected our bristles. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Keep on going. Okay, okay, here we go. Hey! You know, just a little bit snuck into the bristles there. Yep. But all in all, it looks pretty good. Now, before we do our test, I think we should get some final shots because we might ruin it in a minute or two. Now to simulate brushing teeth, neither of us wants to sacrifice our own mouths. So we got this mouth, but we, we do want to simulate like the inside of a wet cheek. Cause I feel like if it's not wet, like here, <laughs> it's not really going to be an accurate test. So we're going to make cheeks. And we need to be able to open it still. Yeah. We do just a little like, Yeah, it's flexible. Uh, you know, it's not quite as wet. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, remember, you gotta brush each area for, what, 20 seconds? No, yeah, 30 I mean, seconds? Like, you know, you wanna brush for like a couple minutes Yeah. in total. Uh, I'll brush your teeth and you'll like it. Oh, oh no. Oh no. The teeth were too aggressive. And there you go. And there you go. Let's assess. So looking at the toothbrush, we can see we lost quite a bit from the tip there. It's also wet and disgusting looking. Um, would you care to open up the cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Multiple stains on the cheeks. Yeah. Yeah, multiple stains on the cheeks. And then the teeth themselves, they leave some debris on the inside of the mouth. Yes, and I, I do see some dust on the teeth as well. Oh yeah, I see some little dots. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> don't use a velvet toothbrush to brush your teeth. Zero out of however many points we're raking things out of. Yup. Sean asked us to try hot glue grouting, but make it fancy. 
Now, I originally thought this idea was really bad, but then I started thinking, like, what if? And I got what really if? curious. We so happen to have regular hot glue. Fancy white hot glue and some potentially fancier glitter hot glue. <laughs> All right, we'll start off with the plain old clear glue. Now, my main concern about using hot glue as grout is it's gonna be very uneven and you won't be able to even it out afterwards. Well, you can even it out while it's hot. So you gotta go fast. Do I think well. you need more. Okay, I'm gonna do another layer. Okay, you're gonna have to work fast. Go, 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 go. There we go. Now how do we clean up the edges? Do it again. Oh no, you just spread like a sheen of hot glue. Uh. It's like in theory, we could maybe clean up the edges with alcohol. <laughs> Technically, theoretically. I mean, it is grouted. It is grouted. One thing we could try on the next one, since the other glues aren't gonna be as forgiving aesthetically as the clear, is maybe we blue tape it. Should I maybe start um, flattening it as you go? Uh, let's try to go fast. Okay. Because like, where are you gonna push it if, yeah, I, that's if I'm true. not done? Yeah, yeah, you just focus on going. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I have it at 100 watts. Squeeze. 100 watts. It's definitely more of a workout than normal grout. <laughs> but what if it's more durable? Woo! Woo! Woo. I think it's gonna be pretty clean. Peel, peel. Oh! Okay. <laughs> that, that looks pretty good. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a pretty clean line. Wait, you know? I'd still recommend traditional grout, most I'm, likely. I'm sure there's reasons that people use grout and not hot glue. One of them being the mad rush. Like, the that was a single line. Can you imagine doing that for a whole floor? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. But, you know, there's some things that you can't do with grout that you can do with hot glue. Like, have it be full of glitter. <laughs> All right. Are we about to make the most luxurious grouting mm -hmm possible happen right here? Ooh. It does look nice. Ooh. Looks kind of like resin. Oh. Okay, you're almost at the end. I know, but there's a low spot in the middle. That's okay, I'm just gonna, um... I'm gonna go back and get it. Okay. All right. Okay, peel. Oh no. What? The tape failed. <gasps> oh no. The crucial moment. The blue tape failed us. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. What do you look at that? Wow. It's, <sighs> it's a look. It's a look. It's a look. I... That, you, that would be much harder to get with grout. Also, would I recommend this? No. no. It was an interesting experiment though. It I... turned out better than I thought. I thought this was gonna be like a, Zero out of 10, I give it five. I give it a two. <laughs> Another common theme in your project ideas was beans. And this one that we're gonna tackle comes from Shannon. She just said, resin cutting board, parentheses, beans, question mark? Yes. According to our receipts tab, we spent over $100 on beans. These are special beans. They are artificial plastic beans used for like I guess, fake food. They're an investment. And yeah, they're, they're an investment because we don't want to go through all of this time and hassle using beans that are going to fail us in the end, which is what we discovered when we made a phone case out of resin and beans. The, the beans ended up chipping because beans are non-uniform. They have like a skin. And when they chipped, they took the resin with them, resulting in these like white patches on the surface of our finished product. Yeah, and, 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 and a cutting board is gonna get even more use and wear than a phone case, so I think. Uniform plastic <clears throat> beans. Let's do it. Now for the color, we're just gonna use the same ratio of pigments we used on the bean phone case because we liked that. Bean sauce. Oh, it's, it's looking beany. Oh, that looks good. I mean, it looks bad, <laughs> but it looks good. It looks like what we want it to look like. Yeah, like the bean juice from canned beans.
So we're gonna do like a layer at the bottom so that we don't trap any air bubbles. Then we'll do the beans and then we'll do more sauce. I think that's enough to, to start putting beans. Yeah, let's do it. Woo, look at that. All right. Let's fill this up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, before we pour much more, should we like massage it out a bit? How much, are we overfilling? Oh, according, like, according to my calculations, we should be able to pour mo most of this bucket in. I, I don't want it to get too full and then we're like pulling out resiny beans, you know? Yeah, 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 you're right. All right. Yeah, just I'm get just in gonna, there, get in there. I'm just gonna start patting That's what it. I've been waiting for. Pat the beans. Oh, it looks really good. Very soupy. Let's go ahead and pour the rest in. Yes. Oh yeah. Look at, oh, that, yeah. Look sausage. at that sauce. I guess we'll just kind of like rub it on top of them. So they all get a little resin on top. Yeah. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, this looks nice. This looks nice. And, and now we wait. I put in too many beans. <laughs> I looked at things from the side and I was like, wow, that bean right there is too big. So I took it out and then I took out more and I took out more and it was looking better and better and better. I've taken out so many beans and yeah, there's still so many beans. You see right there how there's like six beans just poking straight up because that's an efficient way for them to stack. But if you remove one out, that cluster that looked so uniform is now so much better without this bean. I haven't told Caitlin yet. She'll find out later when she looks at the footage, but <laughs> I don't want it to get too full and then we're like pulling out resiny beans. So this is how it looks now. I'm not sure how much of a visual change it is to you guys because I've been staring at this for way too long, but it is perfectly flat and level now, which is, uh, I mean, you know, it's still bumpy, but like there aren't any big singular beams sticking out really high. So that to me is what I was aiming for the whole time. It only took me 30 more minutes. Hopefully Caitlin likes it. Look at these beans. I'm glad you uh, took out some of the extra beans. I'm so, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm, I, I put too many in there. Oh, that looks okay. Oh, yes. Oh, I love the like side view. Wait, is it still, is it bending? This is bending, this whole thing is bending. It's bending. <gasps> this whole thing is bending. Oh it's my not gosh. cured yet. Oh geez. Oh, put it, put it put back. Put it flat, put it flat. Put... Press it down with gloves. Well, it looks great. Oh, oh yeah. The back is also beautiful. So, you know, it works if you want a smooth side or a textured side. Well, this certainly has been quite the journey. Yes, it has. Bean. Look at this charcuterie board. It's so the fanciest fancy. one I've ever seen. It's so vivid. The colors. Wow. Like, you know, part of eating is the visual stimulation in front of you. And I want to see bright orange sauce with beans in it as a base to everything I eat. I would rate this 8 out of 10. You too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, guys, your projects truly have been cursed. But after all this work, I'm ready to relax. So, I'll see you guys later. Mm. I'll join in. Ooh, it's nice and cold and refreshing. Mmm. It's so greasy. <laughs> we need more lights. It's like, it's like so bright. We have so many lights. There's lights here. There's lights there. There's lights behind us. <laughs> this is what you say, you're the light of my life. Uh, you, you, are, you are the light of my life. <laughs> Thank you. She has, I'm telling you, she has attitude. Okay, good. Catitude. Meow, 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 meow. Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> 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 Ugh.
Thanks again to the Yahoo Mail app for sponsoring this video.